I started the saxophone about nine or ten years old and um, uh, loved it right from the beginning. So I, I knew I always wanted to be a, a musician. I thought that was playing in the school band the rest of my life at that time, but you know, now it's uh, carried me all the way to here. I grew up on the East Coast. I grew up in uh, Maryland, Hagerstown, Maryland, and uh, I went to University of Miami and uh, I turned about 17, 18 for college down there and I've been in LA for the last 25 years. The House of Groove. The House of Groove is um, kind of a slang name for my house that I actually live in in, in, uh, in California. Um, it was nicknamed the Groove House. It's kind of one of those places everybody comes over and we have a lot of activity going on there all the time with the kids and friends and stuff coming over and uh, so it became kind of the party house, the Groove House. And so my studio that, that's in that is, uh, is the House of Groove. And, um, uh, so it, it's, it's, I think the album kind of captures the essence of everybody hanging out and partying and you know, those feel-good vibes. So it's, uh, it's a feel-good album. Welcome to the house of groove, y'all. Any believers out there? Any believers? Raise your hands high if you believe. This album, the writing and the production, is, is more myself just because of the, the, the hands on elements that I had at it. You know, again, uh, uh, working in the studio that I have it at home, I can be in there 24 hours a day and, and kind of touch every aspect of the song. So. Uh, I guess kind of what I was feeling at the time is what came out into the music. This time, instead of naming the tracks, I since we're in the house of Groove, I named them room number, room one, room two, room three, and um, I just kind of thought of each room in my house and you know, and, and kind of what it took on, so that's it, the names kind of come from that, I think. So the first song is Knock Knock Who's There, like you have to knock to get into the house, and track two is uh, the house of Groove, and uh, Fellowship Hall is, is uh, room number three because we all kind of have fellowship there, so it kind of goes on from that. As far as sax inspirations, I, I certainly had, you know, the Davis Sanborn and Grover Washington Jr. Um, uh, there was a classical saxophonist named Marcel Mulet that, that I really loved his sound and I uh, listened a lot to him. I'm, uh, I'm moonlighting as a DJ. I do have fun with it. I uh, work with a, um, uh, a station called Sky FM and I do their Smooth Jazz 24-7 channel, uh, which is, you can get it on the internet or your smartphone or, or whatever. So I do that uh, every Thursdays. I have a show on there and it's, it's been a lot of fun for me. I've done it for the last year or so. I've had this core group of musicians for quite a while now. Uh, Daryl Williams on bass, who is actually um, from Las Vegas. He spent a lot of time here, and uh, now he's living in Southern California. Uh, Ross Bolton on guitar. We met uh, a very long time ago. He was touring with Al Jarreau, mm -hmm. and uh, I met him some years ago through that. And um, so we've been working together for for ten years. Uh, Aaron Valentine on drums, another guy I've been working with for several years. He's amazing, and Rodney Lee on keyboards. <laughs>
I can get everybody you know involved to participate in the show and uh, and have them all smiling and up on the end, then I guess I've accomplished what I set out to do.